and welcome to the Greek Mythology Talk Show. I'm your host, Ashley Ford, and for today's guest, we have Percy Jackson! Hi! Now, hello there, Mr. Jackson. Might I ask, how old are you? Fourteen. Oh, yes, I heard you were quite the young hero. Now, um, who do you have there in the audience with you today? I have my mom, Sally Jackson, and my friends, Thalia, Grover, and Annabeth. And I understand you have a father that couldn't make it today. Why is that? My dad is Poseidon. He's in Olympus right now. Oh, right. Yes, yes, I remember hearing about that. My bad. So, what's it like being a demigod? Being a demigod is real interesting at times, but it's also really dangerous. <clears throat> San Francisco is the most dangerous location for us to be at any time. Ah, yes. And where do you go to stay safe from all these monsters? We go to Camp Half-Blood. Well, now that I've got all the basics out of the way, why don't you tell me about your latest adventure? Um, well, it was real crazy, honestly. If I went into all the details, we'd be here for a really long time. But... Well, it all started back when we were trying to recruit these two new demigods, Nico and Bianca D'Angelo. And where are they now? Nico's... well, I don't know where Nico is, really. He got mad after he found out his sister was dead and blamed me for it. He's... Wait, are the gods watching? No? Good. He's the son of Hades. But he was born before World War I, and the pact was made that the Big Three could not have any more children. They still look young because they were stuck at the Lotus Resort in L.A. for years. And B Bianca... Bianca, she... She gave her life for this. And what is that exactly? It's a golden statue from Hepatitis' junkyard. She wasn't supposed to take anything, but she wanted to give it to her little brother. Mm. Ah, yes. People do crazy things for those that they love. <clears throat> um, yeah, I guess. Anyways, what else happened on your adventure? Annabeth and Artemis got kidnapped, and so Zoe, Bianca, Thalia, Grover, and... Well, I followed secretly at first with Annabeth's invisibility cap. We all had to go find her. We fought many monsters along the way. Like? Let's see, there were those dozen skeleton warriors, the Nemean lion, Talos, Landon the dragon, and the manticore. Hmm, interesting. And where were Annabeth and Artemis in the end? Annabeth was being held by Atlas, the titan, who somehow broke free from his endless work of holding the sky and passed it on to Annabeth, who was used as bait for Artemis. Ah, oh, I see. Tell us about the final showdown between you and Atlas. Well, I didn't do much of the fighting. I merely took the burden of the sky briefly so that Artemis could fight him and put him back in his place. During the fight, Zoe got poisoned and she died immediately after we got away. That's horrible! And she was lieutenant of the hunt, correct? Correct. Thalia took her place. Then how is she able to be here? Artemis let her come. She has to leave soon, though. Well then, let's wrap this up, shall we? That's all for now. Wait, what? I thought you said you beat this thing! I did! But, you see, monsters don't really die, they just turn into dust for a while, and then they come back. What are we- what are we going to do? Hunters, come! Yeah! 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 Well, that was easy. I say, we had absolutely nothing to worry about with the son of Poseidon, daughter of Zeus, and the lieutenant of the hunt, and daughter of Athena protecting us. Well, like I said, we fought this thing before in that space museum where we first saw the general who turned out to be Alice and Luke outside of my dreams. Right, of course. I apologize for the temporary scare there, everyone. You never know when these monsters are going to try to attack these demigods, am I right? 
Anyways, unless there's anything else you or your friends want to say before we wrap things up here, then I guess that's all, folks. That is all. I must return to the goddess Athena now. I gotta get going back to camp myself. Oh, very well. Thank you all again for coming. That's it for this edition of the Greek Mythology Talk Show. This is your host, Ashley Ford, signing off.